Hi guys, this is Architect Aris Basa and here I am again for another video tutorial that I hope will be helpful for you, my fellow architects and engineers. But before we start, we have a couple of shoutouts. Shout out to my friend uh, Richard Canedo, his family of course, to, his, to your uh, loving wife and beautiful baby Celine. Shout out also to our uh, colleagues in our uh, UAP chapter. QC Capital Chapter led by our uh, napakasipat na Chapter President Architect Stella Wong. Okay, let's now proceed to our uh, video tutorial. This is about uh, BIM for residential and small projects. I hope you like it. Hi guys, the first project that I will be showing to you is uh, a residential building that I designed and run using uh, Revit. This is done um, three years ago using Revit 2018 at that time. small projects like this it would be smart just to start with the architectural and structural uh, BIM as we all know uh, we are very much used already as architects and engineers in avoiding those clashes for in avoiding electrical and mechanical and plumbing clashes for architectural for small projects like this so uh, to minimize the cost of BIM production, we have uh, I have decided to just go on uh, modeling the architectural and structural model of this project. But I have completed the, uh, the drawings to show also the uh, electrical, the plumbing and the plumbing and drainage drawings. How, how did I do that? So let's go to one of the, the electrical uh, drawings. So uh, what I did is I've exported the uh, architectural floor plans and sent them to our electrical engineers and they've done it in, uh, they've done the layouts in uh, AutoCAD and then vice versa I brought in the, the AutoCAD plans and superimposed them into our into our layout. Okay. So this is a two-story project for a, uh, for a client in Batangas. It's pretty simple, you know, not, not too fancy, but it is something that we did using Revit as well. We were in the design development stage and uh, sent it to the client. This is the concept that we created. I, I used this to explain to the client 
initially what we can build and how much it would cost them and how we can plan accordingly based on their budget and questions. So if you would like to start uh, using Revit for your projects, please do check my tutorials. I have a playlist that uh, teaches you the basics of uh, Revit and um, just follow through and keep on practicing you'll be able to do projects in Revit just like this. Let's try to open another small project. Yeah. This is a, uh, a laboratory project. It's a laboratory project for uh, agribusiness based in the Philippines. CEO's office where you can see the uh, the laboratory. And this is the laboratory itself. Yeah, that's the laboratory where they do all the fertilizers. It's just a simple project. Okay, so. This is kind of inspired by the local um, architecture of uh, Fiji, yeah, the islands. So these are just small projects that can be done and can be executed using Revit. As we know, clients they keep changing their minds and for us architects to be ahead of the game to be able to keep up with the changes and and we change quickly it would be best to have our projects done using a BIM software thank you very much for uh, watching this video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel for uh, our friends who would like to uh, be part of our shout outs and do comment in our videos so that we can include you in the rounds of our of our shout outs again this is architect Aris Basa maraming salamat po have a good day stay safe this is Bim Smart with Aris Basa